So, good evening again for the last concluding session of day one. First of all, let me thank all of you. I can see at least 50 question marks here in front of me, which means there are so many centers which still wish to interact. I can appreciate the uh, curiosity and I can also appreciate the desire to interact, but you will agree that when we have 250 centers, then it is practically impossible to interact with most. However, I hope you had a good experience today and I am sure that tomorrow Professor Gaitonde will connect to some more remote centers. Before I make my concluding remarks, let me answer some common questions which have come about. There are a lot of queries related to clicker questions. Who will address them? Well, we have a clicker team here and what I would suggest is uh, somebody should start a discussion forum on the Moodle on clicker and let people keep posting the queries that they have. There were some queries which said how the faculty members who are participating in this workshop will participate in the quiz tomorrow afternoon if clickers have not been delivered to their remote centers. So, let me clarify that the quiz tomorrow is not really a quiz. It is more like a feedback form and that feedback form is to be filled up on the course Moodle. So, tomorrow afternoon all participants if possible in one shot or otherwise in two different batches uh, or three different batches depending upon the number of computers connected to internet that you have in your labs will go to those labs and will complete the feedback form. So, it is not a quiz really, it is a questionnaire which we would like to get your opinions uh, from you uh, to essentially understand what things we can do better. But the that component is mandatory. So, people who are attending the workshop as the regular registered participants must complete that Moodle questionnaire. Needless to add, those of you who have not been able to complete the registration formality like about 2000 people have not clicked on the Moodle link. Unless you click on the Moodle link and become a registered user, your registration and therefore your subsequent certification cannot be confirmed. So, please positively do that today evening itself before going home. I repeat those of you who have not completed the registration and do not have the final confirmed status must click on the Moodle link uh, that has been sent to you. I think an alternate mechanism has been provided on the main website for the course, the two days Akash workshop course or NME ICT on which page? On the NME ICT page, there is a separate link provided to confirm your Moodle registration. You can also put your uh, uh, enrollment number and the email ID there and can confirm it. But in either case, please confirm that it is very, very important that you confirm this registration. The second question was related to team formation and when this should be done. Ideally, this discussion should start today itself after the conclusion of the first day and if you notice in the workshop schedule, it says registration of teams in the morning. This registration is not a formal registration on Moodle, but essentially each team comprising of three to five faculty members who are participating. We are leaving this, ordinarily we would like four faculty members in every team. But we are saying 3 to 5 because the total number of registered participants may not be exactly divisible by 4. However, I would ordinarily not like any team to be smaller than 3 nor any team to be larger than 5. So, this team formation should be discussed amongst the colleagues. After all, all of you belong to the same uh, institution and please note it is not necessary that the teams be formed from faculty members by from individual de departments or disciplines. Uh, the entire Akash project is about interdisciplinary activities, is about bringing together the talents and the experience and expertise in multiple fields. And therefore, I would encourage faculty members from different disciplines to team up. The idea of the team assignment is very simple. You have to choose a team assignment for yourself. So, please note this assignment is slightly more difficult than conventional assignment. Why do I say that? Because when somebody else gives you an assignment, 
you do not have to think about the problem, you just have to respond to that problem by giving some solution. Here the team assignment itself is about problems, about identifying problems and about identifying what you can do to solve those problems. So, let me describe this exact team assignment will be specified and to be available on Moodle and Professor Gaitonde will show one page tomorrow, but I can tell you the essence of it. First, the team of three or four people have to identify that that particular team considers different ways of using Akash in the following fashion. Whatever two or three or four points they wish to elaborate, they could write one brief paragraph on each one of these. This is the part one of the assignment. Part two of the assignment is where the team should say that together we propose to address one of the above listed issues. So, whatever four or five issues that you have listed, you will take one of them and you will say how in coming months and years jointly with other technical people, jointly with students by offering BE projects or whichever way, what do you think your team would be able to contribute in which particular fashion. So, essentially you are writing some kind of a statement of purpose for your proposed R and D activity as a collaborative group event. So, I hope this much introduction to the team assignment is very clear. In fact, it is because of this reason that I have decided to postpone the publication of possible research topics for Akash project. Why? Because I would like your independent thoughts on it. Please understand that this team assignment has no unique answer. Every team will come up with different ideas and every team will come up with a different focused theme which that team would like to select to work on. It is not mandatory that your team actually works only on that problem in future years. As a part of this workshop, we just want you to think about issues involved, to think about education, to think about Akash and come up with your own idea. The only requirement is that whatever report that you write, it could be a 20 page report, it could be just a 3 page report. What is important is your ideas should be spelt out. I would expect each team to spend about 10 to 12 hours by each individual member over the next two weeks. I would suggest the following, the team should meet for a couple of hours for a heavy discussion, then individual members should work for 3-4 hours and write down their points, then the team should again meet for a couple of hours where you should discuss all these points. In the second meeting, you firm up your choice of what problem your team would like to work on then again break down into individual thinking and have a final meeting and write the report. Please remember it is hard work, it is not easy. I am aware of the fact that next week is a Deepavali week and all of you would like to enjoy Deepavali. So, I would like to uh, have you spend your time with your family as well, but 8 to 10 hours over the next two weeks is not very much of an investment. As teachers we must set example and we must actually put our thoughts on paper, that is what is expected. The document that you should submit in the editable form either as an ODT file in open document or as a doc file should be submitted along with a PDF version and this has to be uploaded on the Moodle. Uh, that is to be done at the end of two weeks. So, I briefly describe what is the uh, team assignment. Now, you can form your teams appropriately, but please ensure that tomorrow before beginning of the session at 9 o'clock, the team formation is completed and the team information is submitted to the Akash coordinator. On plain paper you can do that, you can write 3 to 5 names of the faculty members, do not forget to write your enrollment numbers and one of the 5 members should be marked with a star, that person will be the coordinator for the team and will assume the single point responsibility of ensuring that the team assignment is submitted. Unfortunately, I am required to be in Delhi tomorrow, so I would not be able to share with you all the ideas that I have, I have actually prepared a half an hour uh, talk. What I will do is over the next few days, I will prepare a summary of my concluding remarks not only for today, but for this workshop and circulate it by email to all of you and I will also upload it on the Moodle. 
but the remaining 3 minutes I want to spend on an extremely important topic and that relates to the function tomorrow at Vigyan Bhavan. As I mentioned in the morning, uh, Honorable President of India is going to preside over that one hour function. That function incidentally is from 11.30 to 12.30. So some very specific instructions which I would like all of you to note that during that one hour function at some point in time which may be somewhere middle or beginning or end we do not know, Rashtrapati will actually launch Akash 2. It is that event primarily but the entire one hour event that all our 15,000 teachers will be participating in from long distance. Now although the Rashtrapati Bhavan has said that there will be no time for interaction, knowing our uh, nature of our Rashtrapati because he loves to interact with people and teachers, it is quite possible that suddenly he will say that I would like to interact with one or two centers. If that happens then the remote centers which we have identified will be the only ones which we will connect to. Now the most important thing is that no remote center will raise a hand during that period. So please remember that when you go for the tea break all Akash coordinators should ensure that the raised hands are unraised, that you must reset all raised hands before you break for the tea break itself. After you assemble, after the tea break there will be absolutely no hand raising either those 10 centers with whom I had discussions individually, some of them will be selected by Rashtrapati. Uh, Rashtrapati ji might want a specific center to be named to be selected, in which case we will have only the identification number, the remote center ID to go by. Why I am saying this again is if anybody raises hand, the list of remote centers that we see on our side completely gets shuffled. That is a lacuna in the AVU software which will be connecting in future. But till such time that the problem is sorted out, it is absolutely imperative that we see a stable list in front of us. So that when Mahamayim Rashtrapati asks for a specific center to connect to, we can quickly go by the center code which will be ordinarily in the sorted order and connect to that center. So I repeat, absolutely no hand raise during the session after tea break till the event in Delhi is over, absolutely no chat session whatsoever. So there will be no chat messages and there will be no uh, hand raise during that period. I will only say that the information or messages that we got both from the HR ministry and from the Rashtrapati Bhavan itself, I think everybody is immensely pleased to note that 15,000 teachers are attending this workshop. They are very proud of this entire project and I have been told that this project will be supported fully over the next two or three years. They do expect these teachers and other colleague teachers in other institutions and engineering colleges to be the spearheads of the innovation revolution that we expect to be caused in our entire education system. I have a lot of ideas on how the education system is moving and how this technology will help us. But as I said, I will uh, preserve those comments for the time being and by the time you submit your assignments, I would have my write-up ready which I will submit for your uh, perusal and reading. Okay. Professor Gayatonde is telling me that that is my assignment. So like you people will work in teams over the next two weeks. He is trying to ensure that I also burn some midnight oil and prepare a good write-up which all of you should find a little thought-provoking and maybe giving some different ideas to think. With that, I will conclude this session today. Uh, we will meet tomorrow morning. As I said, the Rashtrapati ji session will start from 11.30 to 12.30. So the tea break may be appropriately changed it will be from uh, uh, it will be from 1050 to 1120 please note that 1130 sharp the event in vigyan bhavan will start and it may so happen that rashtrapati ji might launch akash 2 at 1130 itself if that happens 
and if he immediately says uh, let me connect to such and such remote center, it would be very pathetic if in that remote center people are still returning from tea break. So, we will necessarily restrict the tea break up to 11, 20 max. I would like all participants to be in their seats sharp at 11, 25 because strictly speaking all of us will be participating in the event in Delhi. So, thank you so much. I, I must conclude by admiring the enthusiasm that I have seen in this interaction, the great energy that I see amongst our teachers and I believe that we will in the coming months and years make a lot of difference by working together. Thank you so much over and out. Thank you.